What's up everybody, today we're going to learn about the stripper deck. So welcome everyone to 2022 and this is the first video on the channel since 2021 and it's really good to get back to it. I had a lot of time off in 2021, I had loads of plans to do loads of videos but unfortunately I had other things which come into play. So I've moved into a new house and I've got a new studio so my old studio where I used to record the videos I give that up. So now we're in the new one so I'm just testing bits and bobs out to see what works best. There'll be a video coming up next week which is the studio move so I'm really looking forward to getting that out there. Just I recorded that quite a while ago, it was just on the phone and stuff like that but it's nice just to, to generate more content and just show everyone where the new studio is and what's been happening. So now we're going to crack on with the video and we're going to do five performances that you can do with a stripper deck. So what is a stripper deck? Essentially it's a deck of cards where all of the cards have a slight table on the edge so if you were to take out any card like this one for example you spin it around in the cards you can see there it's sticking out because the card is slightly tapered and what that allows you to do is to basically go like that and you can strip the card out so so easy. One of the most common tricks for the stripper deck is where you have the four aces you lose them in the deck, just like so, like so, and also like so. As you can see, they're all in random different places. They go in, and what you can do is just take them, strip them back out, put the deck down, and you're left with the four aces. It's so, so easy, but that's a very common trick, and it's a bit shit, really. There's no story to it. It's just saying, get these four aces, I'm going to produce them from the pack, like so. Bit shit, really. Another common trick which people are doing is, you can see here, all the cards are mixed up and different things. And what I can do is I can put them behind my back. As you can see, you're just going to make a couple of cuts behind your back. And just like so, the deck goes back into half reds and half blacks. So, so easy to do it. But again, there's no real storyline to it. It's just saying, I'm a magician, I can do this. So I'm not a fan of that either. Another trick I've seen quite often is pretending that you can memorize the deck and there's 52 cards in a deck so half of that is 26 so what you can do is you can take the deck you can split it and when you count down there'll be 26 cards 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 and just like that you split the deck in half and the way you do that is the 26 card down all you do is you take it and you spin it round so when you have the card on top all you can do you can find a break and split it up in half but again there's not much story to it that's another sort of trick which seems impressive but then it's a bit throwaway really one last thing before we get into it best thing to do is when you get in a spectator to choose a card with a stripper deck you take the card take it out pivot it and when you put it back in the middle of the deck it's already flipped around the other way so you can easily just strip it out like that when i first started doing tricks with a stripper deck i would give out the card like this have them hold it up and see it i would spin the deck like this so when they put the card back in it will go that way but it's slightly more complex and sometimes if they pick up the card and they actually spin it around then it's not going to work so like i said the easiest way i found it is you can either dribble the cards down so you can say stop let's say this card take it out show them spin it around put it in or however the spread one is quite good as well because you can just take the card say this card so that motion when you're coming out of the deck you just pull it out like so flip it around put it in and then you can extract that card so so easy so trick number one is a really simple one and it's similar to the four ways production where basically you're going to get the spectators to choose some cards so if you have say three spectators they pick three different cards like so and then what you can do is you take them cards lose them into the deck as you can see if I do a spread those three cards in the middle of all the other cards and they're going to be lost you push them in and then just like so you can strip those three cards out again and those are the three chosen cards for your spectators really powerful move really good for the spectators when you're doing it and just sort of amazed at how you can do it but again it's super super simple essentially it's the same as the four aces so you take out any random cards that spectator wants to pick. If you see when I did this trick, I just rotated the, the deck because the cards were on the table, so it was a bit easy that way. But if you're doing one card, it's easy to rotate the card. So this can be done with as many spectator cards as you want. You can do it one, you can do it two, three, four, five, whatever you want. And then all you do is, because they're spun around, they're gonna be sticking out. So as soon as you put them in, see there on the side of the deck, that the cards are sticking out and like i said it's super simple just to extract them that pulls out them three cards and that has the three spectator cards that they've just chosen so even just by using that simple method of their spectator card or the four chosen aces you can do different things so it's as a couple with the performance you can get the king of hearts and queen of hearts and that can represent them and then you can lose them in the deck and you can say no matter what even if you get lost anywhere you're still going to find each other and you're still going to be there for each other and strip 
ship them out again and then king and queen. But obviously you want to elaborate more on the story just so it's not just a little gimmick. You want to do a full blown story of no matter what troubles you have you're always there for each other blah 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 and do it that way. This second trick is really easy but it looks really really impressive. I'm going to perform it to you but normally you'd have a spectator doing it. What I want you to do is just look through the cards and we're going to pick you a card. So as you're at home I'm going to pick that for you. So as you can see there that's your chosen card and I can see it on the camera as well so that's the jack of clubs. So I'm going to take the jack of clubs, I'm going to lose it in the middle of the deck, like so. So your card's now lost. What I'm going to do is take both sides of the cards, flip one over, and then do a ripple shuffle between them. So as you can see here now, all of the cards are mixed up in back to front, some frontwards, from backwards. And what I'm going to do is just take the cards behind me back, give them a couple of shuffles, give them a couple of cuts, and then what I'm going to be able to do is put all of these cards back to normal, all facing the same way. So as you can see here, all the cards now are the same way, apart from that one card, which was your chosen card, and that is the Jack of Clubs. Another really easy trick, but it looks really good when you're performing it, because you're thinking, how's he got all them cards back to front and then left my card facing the same way? So basically, all you're going to do is, the same as we said at the beginning, take a card that the spectator takes, spin it round, lose it in the middle of the deck. What we're going to do is split the deck in half, flip one card over, and make sure you have them the correct way when you're doing the, the riffle shuffle. So like, sure. So even and as you can see on the deck now all of the cards have been shuffled together however they have the stripping formula or stripping sides so you can basically get out all the cards and then all you're going to do is just flip them around like that it may take a couple of times when you're doing it just to flip them all back around but then what you're left with is all of the cards facing the same way and then that one chosen card which you flipped around the other way that'll be stick sticking out like that however you can do it the other way so you can see now all the cards are face up Apart from there's one card which is face down and that is your card. I think that way is a bit more visual when I do it. I much prefer to show the normal cards like this than a card with the back shown because they'll be thinking is that my card, is that my card and you show them. Whereas if you're doing it this way and there's a card back to front it's just sort of it pops up straight away so they see it. Whereas if you're doing it the other way you get like a, a second reaction because they'll think there's one card which is back to front and then there's my card. So you get a double effect with that so just want to keep in mind. So on to trick number three now and this is a really really easy one but it's super super visual and the spectator's card just jumps out of the deck in front of the spectator's eyes. What we're going to do is just flick through the deck and I'm going to get you to pick a card. So for example this one here. So five of clubs. I'm going to lose that into the deck like so. I'm going to do a riffle shuffle just so the cards are proper mixed up and as you can see here all mixed up just going to do a couple of swing cuts and different things like that. Right now what we're going to do is I'm going to take the deck of cards and I'm going to drop it and your card has jumped out of the deck. Again, like I said, really, really easy trick, super visual. Really good for social media as well, so if you want to perform that on there, then you can. All you have to do is get a spectator pick a card. Again, you don't have to force a card as long as you take the card, take it out, spin it in the other way. So two diamonds, lose that in the middle of the deck. And no matter when you want to do it, you can take that card out, and that is the two of diamonds. But to make it look a bit more real, you can do some riffle shuffles. So again, when you're doing the riffle shuffles, this keeps the way the cards are so they don't go back to front. So again, like I said, whenever you wanted to, you can just strip out that card and take it out to diamonds. I normally do riffle shuffle and maybe some swing cuts. So, so when you're doing the swing cuts and then when you're on to the last one to strip out their card, it doesn't look too bad because you've already done some shuffles similar to that. So anyway, you get their card on top. As I said, two diamonds. So what you need to do for this trick is make sure their card is pushed out on the top. So as you can see, you've got your deck and you want it pushed out slightly. And what you're going to do is when you hold your hand like this, as you can see, that card's out jogged slightly. So when you drop that on the table, that card flips over and it looks like it jumps out the deck. Like I said, super visual, so it's really, really good for that. So again, jog the card out, have it like that, drop it on the table or the floor. Whenever you drop it, it flips over. It may take you a couple of times to get right, but uh, once you've got that, you'll be dropping it every time and it'll be flipping over. Now on to trick four, and again, this one's a really easy one, but it's really, really impressive for the spectator. And it'll leave them thinking, did that just happen or not? What we're gonna do is get you to flick through the deck and just pick a card. So for example, this card here, that's gonna be your card. So remember that card, okay? And now what we're gonna do is, I've got the power 
I can think through the deck, so I'm going to take it out. And that is your card, so the King of Hearts. What we're going to do is we're going to take the King of Hearts and put it on the table. You have to flick again. That wasn't your card, are you sure? Well, let's see if I can get it. So the King of Hearts, that wasn't your card. Are you sure? So, so it was a five. Again, like all the stripper deck tricks, it's really, really easy. However, this works more with the spectators there because you need their reaction for the trick to work correctly. As you can see, it was just sort of a bit ad lib in there. So you, you take out the card and you, you say that's their card, you put that down. And then you need to wait for their response for them saying, well, that wasn't my card. I didn't do that. So then all you have to do is do the same trick again and you pull out that card which they thought you put down and be thinking, didn't you just put that card down? And then you show that and it gets really good reactions when you do it with spectators. However, when you're doing it yourself with the camera, it doesn't really work as well and it doesn't really perform good for socials and things like that. But with spectators in the real world, it's really, really good. So the way to perform the trick, what you're going to do is take the top card and in this case, it's the King of Clubs. What you're going to do is turn that around so that card is all reversed in the deck. Get the spectator to pick a card, whatever they want. And what you're going to do is take that out, reverse it. So this one's the Jack of Spades. That goes on top. So now you have those two top cards reversed in the deck. So when you cut it, you're going to be able to strip two cards out, which is going to be the King of Clubs and the Jack of Spades. However, what you want to do is when you strip it out, you're going to pretend that that's their card and be adamant that it's their card. Put it on the top of the deck and then put it on the bottom, place it on the table. However, the card that you place on the table isn't the King, it's actually their chosen Jack. So again, cut the deck and while you're doing that, they should trigger on and think, that wasn't my card. So you say, all right, I'll, I'll try it again then. And then when you pick it out, it's the King of Clubs again. You say, that definitely wasn't your card. So they'll say, that's not their card. And then you say, what card did you pick? And then obviously their chosen card will be the one that's on the table. So again, really, really easy trick and really works well with spectators, especially when you get a couple of people around and they've shown the card to everyone because there's more than one person remembering what card that they chose. And last but not least, it's time for trick number five. However, there is one bonus trick after this, so stick around for it. We're gonna flick through the card here and we're going to pick a card out for you. It's this one here, Eight of Diamonds. So that's your chosen card. We're just going to lose that in the middle of the deck. Give it a quick riffle shuffle. Just make sure it's all fully messed up and all the cards are in no particular order and your card is completely lost. And what we can do is, if I was a magician and had magical powers, true magical powers, I could flick through and I could say, this is your card, but it's not. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a bit of maths. So we're going to do how many weeks are there in a year? 52. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2. So 52 weeks in a year? Correct. Now, how many months are in a year? 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. How many days are in a week? 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now you may think, well, what's the point of all that? The point is, what I can do now is take your card and produce it. If you're looking at the trick and thinking that's really complicated, it's really not. So what we're going to do is go over the trick and have a look and show you how it's done. And this one just relies on the spectator's chosen card to be second down from the top. And then once you follow the anal analogy with the maths, then their card appears on top. So get the spectator to choose a card. And for example, we're going to use the King of Hearts, which is my favorite card. And again, you can lose that into the middle of the deck like so. And again, with it being the stripper deck, you can just strip that back out and get that. So you want to shuffle the deck however you want, but essentially you want to shuffle it so this card comes back on top. So you do the different things like I said before, do the, the swing cuts, the riffle shuffles, as long as you get that card back on top. You can also take the, the spectator's card and so for example here, the king of hearts, you can say, oh, I'm just going to lose it in here, so put that in the middle of the deck and lose it. So that's a thing called a Marlow tilt and that takes your card and puts it second from top. However, for this example, we're going to do it really easy. So again, like I said, put this on top, flick through the deck, see it spectator. If I was magic, I had magical powers, I could take out your card. And as you can see, this is not your card, like so. So the spectator knows that this top card on the deck is that jack now. So they're not going to suspect that their card is on top for some reason. Now it's just a simple pattern. So it's how many weeks are in a year? It's 
52. What you want to do is do a pile of five and two. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two. The important thing here is making sure you pick up the pack of two, put it on top of the five, and then picking up them. So now their chosen card is the sixth card down. So you put them back on top, and you say how many months are in a year. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So now on the deck, their card is the seventh one down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. As you can see, it's the seventh card. So obviously you put that on top. And then you say, how many days are there in a week? Which is seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now their card is on the top. So the way you want to present that is entirely up to yourself. You can just say, all right, well, now you are the one with magical powers. So you've counted down through the days of the week, the months of the year, and the weeks in the year, and now you've got the power to take your card to the top, or something along those lines, whatever you want to do with the performance. It's entirely up to yourself, but this is just the mechanics behind it of how to do it. I did say there was a bonus trick, and it involves a knife and some napkins or paper towels or something like that that you're going to wrap the deck in. And when you're at a restaurant and things like that, this is super, super fun to do, because you're always going to have a napkin, a knife, that sort of thing. And if you've got your stripper deck, then it's really, really fun to perform. So here we go. This is a trick which involves a deck of cards, a knife, and some kitchen towel. What I'm going to do is get you to pick a card. It doesn't really make any difference what card you pick. So as you can see there, you've got the four of hearts. So we're going to lose that into the middle of the deck. As you can see, middle of the deck, lost. I'm going to take this kitchen towel, and what we're going to do is we're going to wrap the deck in this towel, like so. I'm going to take the knife, I'm going to try to push it through the deck, like so, and as you can see here, I'm going to take off the kitchen towel, the knife has actually gone through the four of hearts. Again, another really easy trick and super visual it'll do, and like I said, it works really, really good in restaurants and things like that. What you're gonna do is get a spectator to pick a card, any card they want. So for example, this one, seven of hearts. And again, lose that into the middle of the deck. You wanna pay close attention as to where the tapering is. So for example, now the card goes up. So I need to spin the deck around because I need the card to go downwards so it's going to be hidden okay so the the card needs to be stripped out towards you so what you're going to do is get your napkin or your kitchen roll or whatever it is so you're going to put it over and what i want you to do is hold the side of the deck like this when you're doing it because what that means you can do is strip out that card slightly and then you wrap up the rest of the deck so essentially once you finish wrapping it up you're going to be left with that i don't know if you can see so the card's hanging out and it's like a little shelf like that. So I'm just going to perform it like this, but normally you'd have the cards fully wrapped up. But obviously you just hold it like this, you've got your little shelf here and the rest of the deck. What you're going to do is take a knife and when you're pushing it through the, the napkin and the cards, you have this little shelf here to put the knife on and all you have to do is push it through into there. And then push it all the way through and that pushes the card back in. And then obviously when you take the napkin off and you're looking down on the cards when you split it where the knife is, that is the seven of hearts, which was the card chosen by the spectator and stripped out and had the little shelf. So like I said, that's how that trick's done. Really easy, really, really good, really impressive for spectators. Just want to include it as a bonus because I think it's really, really visual and really, really captivating for the audience and spectators when you're doing it for them as well. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And like I said, it was the first video back of 2022. So a bit rusty, especially it's been about six months since I've done things. So it might be a bit long compared to normal and a bit drawn out if it is. Sorry, but who gives a shit? If you stuck around this long, thank you very much. Remember to leave a comment, give a like, subscribe if you like the content. One of the first gaff decks that I got was a stripper deck and there's so many different possibilities for it. And it's really, really easy to do the tricks as well. Even now, as I've come along first, further on magic. It's really nice just to get the stripper deck out, back out again and start playing with it and just the amount of possibilities that you can do with it is so so simple. You don't have to use any sleight of hand, nothing like that. You can choose a spectator card, lose it, find the card again, super super easy. Whereas normally you'd have to do like maybe just palm it off or do some false shuffles and things like that. You don't have to do with the stripper deck, it's so so easy. I've got some other really good videos planned for 2022 as well so hoping to get those recorded and uploaded. I'm going to try and do a schedule of every Saturday, that's a new video and every Sunday is going to 
to be new shorts. So just trying to make use of the shorts feature. I know when I had some time out from the last proper video I recorded, I uploaded a bunch of shorts. Some of them hit, some of them didn't. So I think it'd be good just to start recording some again and see where they go. Also, if you're a beginner magician, I've also got a playlist and a series of videos called The Basics of Card Tricks. And it goes over the basics of things, so different grips and shuffles and things like that. Again, if you're new to cards and card magic and things like that and just starting to pick things up, then uh, give the playlist a watch or this way, whichever way it's going to come up. And again, it's a really good video so you can sort of sit through and learn different things like the biddle grip, the straddle grip and dealer's grip and all these basics that you need for the card tricks as we go further along. Like I said, hope you enjoyed it. And if you're not subscribed, I'd really be thankful if you could subscribe to the channel. I was hoping to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of 2021, but unfortunately with not recording content, I've, I've never got to it. But in 2022, it'd be really great to get 2000. So yeah, until next time. See ya.